both these guys looking for a big punches early on. KSI JJ just landing. Not, landing the jab early. JJ landing the jab early. Right hook by JJ. Another jab by JJ. Joe not answering. Joe, Joe hasn't thrown a punch yet. Joe needs to start throwing. Joe needs to throw. Joe needs to throw a punch. And he does. And he does throw. And he lands. This is Joe sitting back, waiting for and KSI to open throw. himself up. And he lands again. Keeps hitting his and face. he's Keeps making a fight out face. of it. This is a fight. JJ's on the back foot. We're gonna bring up my man, Zeggy, to the stage. Let's go, champ. Let's go, champ. The fact that so many people think this is real scares me. It is so unbelievably fake, and I understand that there are a lot of YouTubers out there calling it fake, and I have to applaud them for having a fucking brain. But then you have YouTubers making predictions on who's gonna win, as opposed to who's gonna take the fall. But let me tell you this, whoever's gonna lose the fight or take the fall is gonna get a shit ton of money. Personally, I think Logan Paul is gonna be the one who takes the fall because, well one, nobody fucking likes him. Two, him and his brother Jake portray themselves as the bad guys. I have to say though, they're pretty good actors. But then again, they could be just acting as their douchebag selves. And three, when KSI wins, it would be a complete underdog story and people just eat that shit up. However, I think it's possible if this was a real fight that JJ could actually beat Logan, but Deji and Jake Paul. <laughs> if Deji wins, that confirms this shit is fake as fuck, but even then, I think that's a stretch for this fake fest. And the reason being is because they know this scrawny kid is not going to beat up Jake Paul. He's just... He's just way too ripped for him. And honestly, Deji is a giant ass pussy. If you have seen past videos of him and KSI playing video games, he gets scared by fucking jump scares. So yeah, he would not last a second against Jake Paul. That being said, what I think they're going to do for this little act is have Deji lose. Like he's going to get beaten down, but it's going to be fake, of course. And this will drive the underdog, KSI, to fight and beat Logan Paul. And he'd be like, I did it for my brother or some shit like that. As he's giving his dumbass speech, some sad anime musical he's playing in the background, and then everyone will start crying. It'll just be a, a really funny moment to laugh at. So during these press conferences, what KSI and Logan Paul and the other two brothers that no one cares about are doing is they're throwing insults at each other, you know, to entertain the crowd, entertain the 12 year olds, you know, because they want shit talk. They want negativity, not positivity. What is that? Yo, Jake, you don't want this. You're not, you're, you're really not about this. I think the biggest reason why, though, this whole YouTube drama shit is fake is because of how drawn out it is. And they are just milking the shit out of this thing. And I have to say, it's pretty smart of the Paul brothers and Deji and KSI to do this because many people fall for this type of shit. They're that gullible. And luckily for these guys, their main demographic is filled with younger teens and children. So they know they're going to eat this shit up. Yeah. All you're going to hear is one, yeah. two, two why are you three, three, four, four eight, five. five. Seven. One, two. Whoa, did you guys see that? They're so ferocious that they're attacking each other before the boxing match. I mean, this shit was getting so violent that they had to be separated by this low budget Tech 9 looking ass. Both these groups know their demographic pretty well because they've made their insults very simplistic and childish. They're literally throwing YouTube for dummy books at each other, throwing toilet paper at each other. Like, they know the only people who are going to follow this shit are children. And all the grown-up people, you know, that actually fall for this shit, I'm sorry, but you're gullible as hell. But they know they have to keep their insults to, like, a very childish level so their actual demographic can follow what they're saying. Their main goal is to appeal to their main viewership in order to make more money from them. These two don't have actual beef with each other. Bro, 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 bro. Anything, you know what? I can't wait, bro. Yo, look at me, look at me, look at me. I'm looking at you, I'm looking at you. Bear me! Bear me! No, 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 no. I mean, these little moments right here, it, it, it clearly screams, I'm faked. He's shouting shit like, fear me. He's clearly playing the role of the villain. I mean, who honestly fucking says, fear me, in real life, or as an insult, or to intimidate someone? That's something a fucking cartoon villain would say. Let me ask you guys this. What is the main motive to prompt these two to make videos on YouTube? Bitches. It's money. Everyone wants fucking money. And that's why I think Logan Paul is the one who originally started this idea. Yeah, it was KSI who called him out, but remember, Logan Paul lost half of his funding because of... Ah! Uh, dead body! 
I mean, the day after the press conference is released, they're getting double the amount of views they usually get, even more. Let's be honest, the only thing big YouTubers care about is money. And drama is making a ton of these people money. And say what you will about Fousey too, but his fake beef with rice gum totally proved that point, even though it was executed poorly and totally hypocritical. So should we demonize these people for creating fake drama and shit? I'm gonna have to say no, because it's actually a pretty smart move and I have to respect it. And they're actually helping other YouTubers out, you know? They're helping out uh, drama channels who keep talking about the subject matter, they're getting more views, more money, and then you have people like Ethan Klein and Philip DeFranco. You know, I feel like these people are too smart to believe that this is real, but they're going to pretend that they think it's real in order to make more videos on the subject matter because when you're claiming this drama is fake, you're only going to make like one or two videos on it because after two videos, it gets pretty repetitive. But if you think it's real, then you can keep adding on to it. You know, you keep pretending that's real. You keep talking about the subject matter because, you know, it won't seem repetitive at that point because there's new material coming from the drama. I think the pinnacle of fakeness from the first press conference comes from when they start fighting each other on stage and then their bodyguards get involved. Yeah, you fucking pussy! All the little children are screaming in the crowd because they think they're going to kill each other on stage before the actual match. It honestly feels like a Rocky movie where they're all beating each other up before the press conference because they can't wait. They're all riled up. I mean, this shit is so cliched. We'll keep it like this. We'll keep it like this. Whoa! I don't know what else to say, like I don't have hardcore proof this shit is fake, but it just seems super fake to me. It seems rehearsed, seems scripted, and you know, just the mannerisms from these two, I don't even know, it just seems super fake. There's been a lot of fake drama in the past, and this would be a very smart thing for both these YouTubers to do. This shit is making them a ton of money, and they know it.